Greetings and welcome to Wapfu TV. If this is your first time on this channel, this is the platform where we simplify, we exemplify, and we demystify elementary mathematics for your understanding. In the past two lessons, we looked at square and the second was rectangles. Today, we are going to be doing something else and that is parallelogram. So we're going to look at the different aspects of a parallelogram. First, we we'll look at the area and the second part we we'll look at the height and lastly we we'll look at the base of a parallelogram as we mentioned to you last time when you have a shape what guides you into finding the different aspects of it is the row so in our first aspect which is the area of a parallelogram the area can be calculated as base times height or in short you can just put it as a equal to b times H. Let's look at our first example and apply this rule to find out the answer. Here is our first example. It says, what is the area of a parallelogram with height 12 centimeters and base 18 centimeters? If this is a parallelogram, the distance that connects these two parallel sides is the height. On the lower side, we have the base. Let's apply the rule to find out what the area is going to be area is base times height and the base we have here is 18 centimeters times the height is 12 centimeters and if you multiply this across it's going to give you a total of 216 centimeters square this is the first method there is still another method we can use to calculate the same area of a parallelogram so let's look at a second method we are going to break the parallelogram into two halves making it or each half a triangle so, and we'll find the area of each triangle and at the end of it find the sum of these triangles to have the area of the parallelogram so let's look at area of a is equal to half times base times height it will be half times the base is 18 centimeters 18 over 1 times height which is 12 centimeters over 1 2 can simplify itself one time 2 into 18 9 times 9 times 12 is going to give 108 centimeters square that is one half let's look at the other half area of b will be equal to half times base times height our base here is 18 over 1. The height is 12 over 1. 2 here, 1. 2 into 18, 9. 9 times 12 is equal to 108 centimeters square. Therefore, area of parallelogram will be equal to 108 plus 108, which will give us 216 centimeters square. If you look at A and B, the answers are the same. So it is left for you to choose which one you can best apply to solve for the area of this parallelogram. Let's move to the second aspect. That is how to find the height of a parallelogram. Just like the area, we need the rule to guide us along. So to find the height of a parallelogram, you simply divide the area by the base. Let us solve this example to see how exactly or what exactly we are supposed to do as far as this is concerned. The example says, find the height of a parallelogram whose area is 40 meters square and the base is 8 meters. First of all, we have a rule here. Height will be equal to area divided by the base. The area is 40 meters square divided by the base and the base is 8 meters and this will give us the final answer which is 5 meters if this is understood then we can move to the last aspect which is the base of a parallelogram base of a parallelogram the rule states that the base is equal to area divided by height or in short you can just write it as b equal to a divided by h so let's look at an example as well to better understand this rule 
we have a shape here it indicates that the area is 135 decimeter square and the high is 9 decimeters so we are asked to calculate the base of this parallelogram so first we state the rule base is equal to area divided by height we know our area 135 divided by and the height is 9 decimeters therefore the base Will be equal to 135 divided by 9 which is going to give 15 decimeters this is the little we had for you today and we believe you've learned something new if you did do well to subscribe to our channel click the notification bell so that each time we share a video you'll be aware and see you next time where we shall be looking at another quadrilateral until then it's goodbye from us